Hey, how's everyone doing today? I got a welding test that just kind of come up really quick. and I, I should have recorded a little more video and explained it a little better, but right here I was cutting out my branch, and I don't know if any of y'all know what that is, but that's where we make the tea. It'll, later on in the video, you'll see it kind of put together. It's not welded up, but just cut and sitting on it. But uh, we'll tell you about these templates. You can order these templates off of Amazon and stuff. They're super handy when companies let you use them, which almost every company will let you use them nowadays. So I always have one with me. And uh, But I'll leave a link in the description where you can find these things at. But when you line these things up, make sure that right here you can see where the template is. That's, you know, really good. That's a pretty good fit. Make sure they're butted up close like that. That way you know your branches, you know, your template's as best as it's going to get. So the rest of it's on you guys on cutting and grinding it and cleaning it up. And uh, another thing is uh, right here in the ears, your seam, I got my seam of the pipe marked right there. You don't want your seam in any straps. You don't want it in the, the ears, which is right here is the ear. And then... Right there in the dip, that, that's the throat. Um, so you don't want to seam, you don't want to seam in the ear or your throat because that's where you're going to pull your straps out of. I mean, yeah, the pipe's not supposed to have nothing in it. It's just kind of rule of thumb. It's how you're brought up in the industry not to do it. But that's how you line up uh, the template and make sure the seam isn't actually dead center of your ear or your throat where you're going to be cutting straps out of. But I got a video of me cutting it out and kind of what it should look like. And I'm gonna put I'm gonna put that together right now. So just let me know what you guys think.
that's from uh i'm sure you i don't know if y'all know how to use wraparounds or not but when you use them make sure when they overlap that they're even all the way around that way you know it's square i'm gonna get this hacked off real quick here and we'll go from there I don't know if y'all know how to use wraparounds or not, but when you use them, make sure when they overlap that they're even all the way around. That way you know it's square. I'm going to get this hacked off real quick here and we'll work from there. All right, y'all see me cut that branch out. So uh, now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna clean it up a little bit, try to get it to fit a little better. If you guys can see or not, but saw that light coming through there. But uh, me hit this with a grinder, clean it up some. 
can't completely get it to where it needs to be on for the test because that goes against all the rules and regulations but i'm gonna turn you off so you only got to hear all this stuff and i'll be back here in a minute all right guys still got a little bit of light coming through there but i mean you guys that took pipe test know that's kind of getting it that much ready for a test is kind of pushing the limits they might actually make me recut it and uh so i don't want to spend waste too much time on it but i want to get as much done as possible anything to help you out on test day will makes life a lot easier and then oh i fell down uh, but it's for my 45 got them cut ground ready um but yeah that's how i prep for a welding test to uh, do my best anyways try to get as much done today as i possibly can so i'm not doing as much tomorrow and uh but a lot of times some of my cuts i do with a bevel machine but i don't have a bevel machine with me because this was a spur of the moment thing but uh i wanted to show y'all how i use the wrap around how i make sure it's square i mean it's pretty self-explanatory i'm sure a lot of you guys have already done that and uh show you how i line up my my branch or the template for my branch pretty self-explanatory on that too but uh but yeah, that's about it. I just wanted to show y'all a few little little things what I'm doing today. I know I get in a hurry and forget about recording videos for you guys till I'm like halfway through it already. And then, I mean, it's too late by then. But I got to go cut some I-beam. My stuff's ready for my welding test tomorrow. I probably won't get to record none of that. I might be able to show y'all some bends and some breaks maybe. But uh but yeah, I want to thank all y'all for watching, liking, subscribing. I know this video is kind of not super educational, but anyways, hey, it's something, I guess. But thank all y'all again, and uh, I'll catch y'all next time.